Hi, y'all. Casey here for a new episode of Today I Learned. I hope you stick around to learn some cold, hard facts, because this episode is snow laughing matter. Did you know that snowflakes actually start off as a pollen or dust particle? When a super cold water droplet sticks to the pollen or dust particle in the sky, it creates an ice crystal. As this crystal falls towards the earth, water vapor freezes onto the ice crystal, building on itself until you have a fully formed snowflake. But why does it form this way? Well, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, better known as NOAA, the ice crystals that make up snowflakes are a symmetrical reflection of the internal order of the water molecules. The hexagonal structure forms because it is the most efficient way way for the water molecules with two hydrogen and one oxygen atom each to arrange themselves. This process is commonly referred to as crystallization. What you may not know is that the shape of the snowflake is mainly determined by the temperature at which the crystal forms. So if it is 25 degrees Fahrenheit when the crystals form, they will be longer and more needle-like. But if it is 5 degrees Fahrenheit, the crystals will be flat and more plate-like. In addition, while snowflakes are always six-armed, the shape is further determined by how the snowflake falls through the air and the different atmospheric conditions it encounters on its way to the ground. So. It can be growing one way, and then a few seconds or minutes later, it can start growing in a different way, depending on the conditions it's encountering at that moment. And since each snowflake follows a unique path from its initial dust particle water droplet formation to the ground, they each have their own unique look. If you thought this episode of Today I Learned was a snow and good time, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Join me next time where we learn about a lesser known version of the Bible. Don't forget to stand up and use your voice and I will see you heathens later. Bye y'all.